All right. So I am grateful that you chose to do this and it's hard to believe, you know, just time goes quickly and that we're already this many days into the new year. And something I was thinking about that we can focus on along with learning our physical alignment and grounding is just even when we do think about goal setting and all those types of words, you know, some, some personalities, I feel like that can actually make us feel worse because you're constantly looking at where you are not yet. Um, and so one of the practices of just contentment and mindfulness is being in this moment. And the more that you can recognize what's good in this moment or what you're grateful for in this moment, the greater over time you start to enjoy your life because you see what is good and what you do have instead of focusing on where you're not. So um, not that you can't hold both. Uh, Self-improvement is a great thing, but I feel like the pathway there often right here where you are growing from here. So that can even be in a challenging pose that you are just grateful that you're trying it. You know, it can be very small. So whether you want to think about that with me or you just want to move, I'm glad you're here. So let's start in child's pose. I feel like that is a great way to start today. So knees together are separated. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, your body just sink back, arms wide if that feels good. And all of your body weight, let it go. Take a nice deep breath. And before you really increase your effort, I simply want you to get a moment to breathe. How are you doing? Just notice the way your breath is in this day. And maybe on this next one, notice a little level deeper. Is there anything you're holding on to or something in your physical body you notice, like a jaw clenched or a tight muscle? And make space for that. Give yourself room to be exactly as you are in this moment of your life. And then we'll start some breath work. So on this next inhale, can you inhale to your fullest? So really fill the belly and feel your lungs expand, stretching the back. Maybe add a little pause just to get that extra calming effect. And then exhale, let all of your breath go and really bring your belly in and up and allow yourself to empty and maybe pause again. We're just working with this strong breath. So inhaling, expanding, feeling how you energize and you stretch on that in breath. And then as you exhale, emptying out, which gives you the opportunity of a fresh new breath, a new start on the next inhale. And just a couple more. So you're massaging your waist, you're stretching your back, but you're also just working with the energy that you feel in your body. So maybe one more just like that. And then today we're going to inhale, lift the hips, and separate the knees wider. So we're going to start to work our spine open, our hips open with some hip circles. So inhale at the top. And as you exhale, circle your hips back in a direction. So you come down, and then you inhale, open the heart, open the belly. Exhale, round. You can even tuck your chin, spine moving as one, and then inhale, open the back of the neck long. And go at your own pace. So I want you to linger where your body says it would feel really good to linger. Maybe even take a little wiggle somewhere around your circle that you know a muscle could be helped if you did that. I'm working with your breath, you know, that energy as you lift open. And then the exhale as you round back. And let's take two more. And I want you to notice what you're grateful for, what you feel good about. You're just thankful that you can breathe, that you can move, or one muscle just feels so nice. And then when you're ready, you'll just switch the direction. So you still inhale forward, but exhale, circle the hips in the other way. Breathing as deeply as your body wants you to in this moment. And in this direction, does something feel different? Just notice your body. It's amazing once we're aware of our body, just how much is going on. And then take about two or three more. And again, I want you to focus on, does something feel good here? 
healthy here, or if it's challenging, is there something you can be grateful for? You're just glad that your body can try this, that you have a moment to yourself. And then this next one, we'll inhale and come on up. And exhale, cross to sit. So we're going to work on our neck and our shoulders a little bit. Often that can get tight when we're not aware. So to find your alignment, I want you to lift your hips and then kind of sit them backwards. And then see if that helps you feel like the crown of the head is right over top of the tail. And then inhale, just open your heart by taking the shoulder blades together behind. Yeah. And then exhale, just take your ribs down. So you just want to feel like you're supporting your spine. Awesome. So take your hands and place them down, teepeeing the fingers farther away. Inhale, nice and tall. And then exhale, ear to one shoulder. And then we're going to roll it chin to chest. And then inhale to the other shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale. And exhale. And the hands. If you wiggle the fingers a little farther away, you're going to get a more intense stretch. So you can even play with how light you want the hands if you want them to float or down on the mat or closer to you if you need more gentle. And then the last full set, side to side. Just thankful that you're able to open your shoulders. And then hands are going to come thumbs to the back so that they're right on top of your shoulders. So this is angel breath. So again, if you feel like you did a back bend by lifting your hands, just hug the lower rib and you'll get nice and tall. So breathe in through the crown of the head. Exhale, elbows come forward as far as they want. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, forward. Inhale, open. Exhale, closed. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. So we'll do a few more of these, really just focusing on your own body. Does any of this feel good for your shoulders, helping you stretch, lifting, and lowering? Let's do one more full set. So breathe, stretch the collar. Exhale, stretch the back. Inhale, lift through the ribs. Exhale again, the back. And then inhale, open. And exhale, down. All right, so great job. You can give it a little bit of a shake. We're going to do one more pose before downward dog. So bring your knees underneath your hips. And we're coming to rabbit pose. So if you've not done this before, right where my ponytail is is your crown of hips crown of the head and that's what we're going to try to get to the mat. So you take that part of your head, you tuck your chin in and then you just bring it to the mat if it can go down and you can even take your forehead closer to your knees. Once you have that, slide the hands back, palms up or you can hold on to your ankles, your heels, your legs and wing the elbows out. So I know it's a lot going on. So just be gentle. If this isn't great on your neck or your head, just lift up. But if you like it, keep tucking the chin in, getting the back of the head onto the mat, and winging the elbows out. So one more breath, stretching across the shoulders. Exhale, sit to your heels, hands on the thighs. Just take one deep breath here in this lightning bolt pose just to let your circulation come back. And then notice what feels different as you work your neck and shoulders. And now we'll come to downward dog. So take a moment, hands in front, tuck the toes, lift the hips, and take as much time as you want to realign. So once you feel like you're in a good place, soften the knees and start to play for a little bit. So once you bend the knee, extend the other heel, if that feels good. Eye gaze and hips side to side. Give yourself time to just breathe to listen to your body. Is there something you're holding that in this moment you could help release? And if not, what can you accept? And take one more deep breath. And then exhale and we'll come back to center and we'll find our alignment. So feel into your hands. And I want you to push down each finger with even pressure. The whole palm of the hand spread wide. Now with soft knees, Press your hands to lift your hips a little higher and just feel how your heart opened, your shoulders shrugged and came back. And take one more deep breath, just feeling your alignment strong and steady. And then exhale, bend the knees, eyes look forward first and then walk to the head of your mat or jump if you like and hang in your forward fold. So just take a moment to breathe and relax down. And here you can play again, shake it out. Yes and no, roll the shoulders, move the hips. What would feel nice 
for your body. Take one more deep breath and follow the exhale. Maybe you want to focus on bringing the belly up and in again like you practiced at the start. Knees bend, eyes lift, and inhale the whole way up, reaching to rise and stretch. Knees soft. And then hands will come back down. So great job. Let's find our first mountain pose. So take the time that you want to reposition the feet until when you look down, you feel like the knees are in line with the toes, the same direction. And then soften the knees. Exhale your tailbone down. So you feel like you're buttoning a tight pair of jeans a little bit. And then lift through the crown of the head. Take a nice deep breath in, open the heart. And then exhale again, point the rib cage down. And then take a scan through the body before you choose where your hands are. So how do you feel and what do you need in this next moment? And then for the next few breaths, do you want your hands at prayer? Just be a little more inwardly focused. Next to you, palms up to be reflective, receptive, or maybe more caring where you put one hand on your heart and one on your belly. Once you've found that, take a nice deep breath in and just feel the body open. And as you exhale, what do you want to let go of? What hasn't been helping? Breathe it out. And let's take one more breath. So inhale. Maybe you also want to think about what feels good or what you're grateful for right here. And then let go of all that pressure and let's start to move again. So inhale, reach the arms up. And as you reach, get as long as you can, knees soft. And then exhale, dive with that leg. So see if your back can stay long. Hands to shins or under the toes and inhale, flat back, extend, feel the energy rise. And then exhale, let yourself go. Knees bend, step the right leg back and we'll find our first low lunge. So take your time again, reposition until your ankle is underneath your knee or it's farther away from you. And then line up the thigh bone with the middle of the toes. Yes, you look good. So you'd be kneeling or lifted here. Now take a deep breath and I want you to push down each toe, even pressure. So we're really gonna focus on foot alignment for a moment. And then push down the inner heel and the outer heel. And what you'll feel is your arch will lift, the ankle feels open and supported. And then just breathe into that. And if you can, even push down the back five toes. So feel how you strengthened your legs even more. One more deep breath here. And then exhale, soften and push back to downward dog and take a nice deep breath. So if you ever want, you can drop your knees to child's pose or puppy pose where your hips are up. So listen to your body more than you listen to me. It knows better. And now find your feet again. Find your fingers. So push down each one. Toes, fingers. And then lengthen the hips up. One more deep breath. If you want to come to plank with me, inhale forward to plank. So shoulders over wrists. And then kneeling or lifted. And take one scan here in this challenging moment. And just notice what your body is saying. And is there anything that you're grateful for that you're able to do this? And then one more deep breath, just noticing what the mind is telling you. And then exhale, lower down. And is there any thoughts you want to let go of? Just breathe it out. And here we work the back. So inhale, lift the heart. Hands are light to baby cobra. And we're going to hold it and pause. And then just notice the low back. If anything feels tight, can you take the tailbone towards the heels using more of your abs? and lengthen those muscles, lengthen the vertebrae. And then this last breath here, think about the back of the neck, lengthen it out through the crown of the head, take one more inhale, and exhale, let it go. Tuck the toes, push and pull back to your downward dog, and take a breath. Thank your body for the strength you're starting to feel. And can you ground your hands? Can you soften your knees? And can you lift your hips a little bit more from that ground? And then take two cleansing breaths. So when you hear the word cleansing, what would that mean for your body? And see how you can help yourself. One last breath, helping yourself cleanse, relax, remove. And then breathe in. Exhale, knees bend, and right leg is going to step forward. So we're on the low lunge on the other side. 
Again, take your time, listen to your body. Now line up your knee right over top of your ankle. Lengthen head to back heel. And let's see if we can find that alignment and grounding in our feet. So push down each toe. Push down the outside and the inside of your heel. And just feel everything open and strengthen. I'll try that on both sides, back toes as well. One more deep breath, just feeling the strength, the grounding, and the alignment you create. And then inhale. And exhale, step forward and relax in your fold. Great job. So this time, if you like, bend your elbows sure. and hug them. Sure. And take two deep breaths, inhaling, feeling the back expand. And as you exhale, pulling the belly in and just letting that nourishment happen. One more time. And then knees bend, eyes lift, get your circulation first, and then inhale, rise up. Knees soft and lift. If you want a little back bend, take the tailbone back and then the heart up. And then exhale and hands come down to heart and lower. And just shake it out, reposition, find your feet. And we'll take a deep breath in our mountain pose before we move. I want you to scan your body and notice what feels different. So as you do that, you'll notice that your practice does change you. And then one more deep breath. Does anything need cared for before you begin to move again this round? And then when you're ready, inhale and rise up. So breathe in, lifting, feeling the energy of life, and then exhale, dive with it. So see how good you can make it feel for your body in this day. Hands to shins or under the toes and lengthen, long neck. Exhale, let it go. Knees bend, set the left leg back, and we'll find our low lunge. So here, we're going to start with that grounding again. So I want you to think about each toe, which also benefit, calms your mind when you're focusing on one body part. And then push down both sides of your heel. And then if you feel like you are ready and you feel strong to lift, you can balance. So knees soft and inhale will rise up to a high lunge. So once you're up, you look great. Line up your knees with your toes. So just make sure your alignment's there. And then your heart opens with the short end of your mat and your right toes. Yes. Nice deep breath. So take about two deep breaths. See if you can lengthen and energize the whole way up and down the spine. Tail down, crown up, and ribs in. Yes, you look great. And then just take one more deep breath, feeling the power, practicing awareness of this moment. Now, if you want to play with your balance with me, we're going to lean forward for a moment and then see how much you can tap the back foot in and then just lift the knee forward and up. So arms can stay high once you've got it. And then this alignment helps us again. So if this is too much, toes go down. But if you want to stay with me in the balance, find all five toes again. And then the inside of your heel, outside, feel the ankle open. Soften the standing knee and take two more deep breaths, just feeling the energy you're making in your body, grateful for what it's capable of. One more deep breath in. And then if you want one more pose, it's warrior three. So leg goes back, arms go forward, and you just lean into it. And hip, see if they can face the ground. Toe can tap down. Take one more deep breath, lengthening hands to heels. And then exhale, hands go back down, feet down, low lunge. Great job. Back to child's pose or downward dog. And just breathe. Find your hands. Spread them. Ground them. Soften your knees. Lengthen your neck. And take two comforting and relaxing breaths. So what truth does your body need in this moment? That you're safe to try these things. That you're brave, you're strong. So take one more breath, just thankful and present. Now, if you want that vinyasa flow with plank again, you can inhale forward with me. So kneeling or lifted, just listen to your body, whatever it needs. Soft knees, shoulder blades, can they kiss behind? Ribs, can you hug them in? 
and then lengthen head to tail. And take one deep breath. Just grateful you're here, you're doing it, you're strong. And exhale halfway or all the way down. Let your body pick what pose it wants. Then inhale up, baby cobra again, or up dog. And let your body pick. Shoulders back and take one more deep breath, just lifting the back of the neck. And then exhale back to your downward dog, child's pose, or anywhere in between. Comforting and centering the body. Find your grounding here. Can you place down your fingers strongly, your toes strongly, and soften your knees? And just take two deep breaths. Remind yourself to be all here. One more deep breath in and out. And then knees will bend and left leg will step it forward. So we're gonna find our low lunge. And here we'll start to move. So if you feel grounded and you wanna lift, we'll inhale up to high lunge. And if you're not quite in the right, right place, just reposition the feet until you feel like your knees are in line with the toes in the same direction. Yes. And then exhale, soften what feels tight that doesn't have to be. So that might just be the eyes, the cheeks, the jaw, or around your neck and collar. And then take about two or three more breaths and that you can energize tail down, crown up, pressure into the toes. Yes, you look great. Take one more breath, just feeling the energy of being alive and in a strong, powerful position. And then if you want to practice balancing with me, we'll lean forward and we'll tap until we can come into that one knee lifting. And toes can be down. You don't have to balance as strongly. And then soften your ground or your, your standing knee and ground into the toes, the heel, feel your ankle open. And can you lengthen up to the back of the neck and down through the tail? And take one more deep breath, just grateful for your body and the health that you have in this moment. And then if you want to practice warrior three, we'll inhale, find that length, and exhale, lean the toes back, hands forward, lengthening out mm -hmm. or lowering down if you want. Try to ground your hips or face your hips towards the ground. And then scan through your back. Is something tight that you can lengthen? just like you practiced in Baby Cobra. One more deep breath in, and then exhale and lower down all the way. Awesome job. Nice deep breath. And then exhale, walk your hands to the middle of your feet, so you're gonna come into a wide leg forward fold. And soften the knees and just let yourself hang. So with each breath, see that Gravity can just unwind your spine. So keep your knees as fluid and soft as possible. Feel like your head to your tail are all connected. So the way that your spine, you're shaping it, you feel like energy can just flow up and down. And then take about two more deep breaths. Soft jaw, soft face. And then when you're ready, bend the knees, step your feet together at the head of your mat. And this time to roll up, bend your knees a lot and slowly roll up. So you're just giving a little stretch to each vertebrae and the muscles and tendons between them. And then hands will come behind, we'll clasp, bend the knees, and lift through the crown of the head. So your tail is back a little bit, and opening your heart center. And take a few deep breaths here, just feeling your heart lift and spread, getting that benefit of a heart opening position. And then when you're ready, inhale, reach up. And as you reach, just feel the breath. Just be in the moment, exhaling, diving, no effort needed. Hands to shins or under the toes, length in the back flat. And then exhale, let it go. Knees bend, right leg goes back. And this time you'll put your knee down for a nice kneeling lunge here. So a gentle twist to start. 
take your left hand and place it on your left thigh. So not too much pressure on the knee, just some more on the muscle. Reposition to the back knee feels like it's in a good spot. Roll the shoulders back and then exhale, just twist gently towards your left. And as you twist, just watch that your front knee is still guiding over the direction of the toes. All of that alignment matters, keeps our joints open so the energy can keep flowing. Your spinal fluid can help nourish you. And then see where you could add space. It might be around the heart that the shoulders could go back or the neck that it could lengthen the space around your ears. One more deep breath. And then coming to pigeon pose, hand will come back down. We're going to help the left foot come in towards us, and then we'll sit down onto the left hip. So both knees could be bent to your right, or you can guide the right leg back to straight. Yeah. And then you can lift and lower, similar to when we were seated, sitting, just to find a good space for your spine. Now this time, roll the shoulders back and lift through the crown of the head, just to get length in the back of the body. Breathe in. And as you exhale, roll forward to extended pigeon if you like. So you can reach your body and round over your bent knee. And you can even fold your arms, cradle your head, anything that'll feel like you have permission to let go more fully. So our hips can be super tight in our daily life. So this is a great gift the more we can work them out. And here in the quiet, Scan your body from top to bottom and notice every inch what muscles are active that you could let go of, what muscles are weary that you could breathe support to, and what parts of your body are longing to be thanked for all that they do. Take two more breaths and just allow your awareness to follow them, giving your mind permission to rest. And then when you're ready, gently use your hands to walk yourself until you're back to the starting position. So we're going to change sides and to get there, if you want, you'll come with me to downward dog. If not, just change legs. So we'll inhale, lift the hips. And then exhale, take the right knee towards the heart, bring it forward, find the low lunge first, and then drop your back knee until you're in a kneeling lunge. So line up the knees with the middle of the toes. Take a nice deep breath in through the back of the neck. And if you'd like the twist, the right hand touches the muscle on your right leg, and then we'll turn to our right gently. And as you start to breathe, maybe begin with the exhales in your mind. So as you exhale, see if your hips could just loosen. They could sink with gravity because you're breathing out, you're letting them. And then the next few exhales, take your shoulders back. Maybe for the last few breaths, focus on the inhales and just spreading your heart or energizing the pose but whatever you need. And then last deep breath in. And exhale, that hand comes down and we'll help ourselves get to pigeon. So sometimes you wanna lift your knee, but either way, we're gonna tuck the right leg under and then sit onto the right hip. And guide your left leg straight or bent. Those are great options. Turn your heart to the short edge of your mat. And then lengthen up to the crown of the head and find that place where your tailbone feels like it has length. One more deep breath, opening the heart. And then exhale, come down whenever you're ready. And find the place where you can give yourself full permission to rest. And these first few breaths on this side, focus on how heavy you can make your body. Seeing all that you are as a gift as you let yourself melt with weight and intention.
And then on these next few breaths, scan through your body again and see what you can exhale. What is working that doesn't have to work right now? And can you have a relationship with your body that helps you relax? And then one or two more deep breaths here. And really notice your breathing. And when you feel an inhale coming, you can start to walk up as you fill the lungs and belly. And then exhale, sit your weight to your right so you can swing your left leg forward. And now we're in a seated position. So with your left leg forward and your right knee bent, we're first just gonna hug it. So let's take our left arm and swing it around the right. And I should say, if you feel like your tail is tucked under, lift and lower your hips back again. Sorry, I didn't say that first. So your left arm will hug your knee, right hand back, and then exhale, roll your eye gaze to the right. And shoulders come back. And notice what feels good. If you don't wanna twist this hard, then don't. And you're welcome to open the twist for any reason. And now energy, inhale, thinking through the crown of the head up, breathing in, exhaling down through the tail and seeing if you can hold both those points. And if you want one more option here that's a little bit higher, you take your left hand around your right foot and you can lift your right foot up into the air. And then same thing with the hand, the right arm could be up and you just exhale, turn, rolling the shoulders back. And take one more deep breath, trying to energize spine up and down all at once. And then exhale, come back to center. So here, if you wanna try this, this is a little bit tightening for the hips. We did just open them and we'll open them a little bit after. But if you want, so find your sit bones again. We're gonna do a garland pose. So now take your right arm on the inside of your right knee, and then your left hand back. And first we'll just have an open twist just to allow ourselves to relax. Shoulders relax down. And then if you want to try it, your right arm actually bends and your palm flips up behind you. And then your left arm just goes and touches that hand, if possible, or lays on your back. You don't have to touch. And you just lift your heart upwards so your spine can lengthen. And take a couple deep breaths. This is good just for your digestion. See if you can relax your knees, relax your face. Nice deep breath. One more. And then gently unwind. And here, just keeping this position, hands are going to come back. And one deep breath of energy where you place your palms down, you lift your hips up, and lengthen out through the front body. And then exhale and sit back down. Great job. So hopefully you're ready for the second side on the bent knee. So find your sit bones, walk yourself back. And then the left knee will bend. So you're on your opposite side if you did this side already. And first we kind of come to the closed twist. So the right arm will hug around, left hand is behind you like a tripod. Shoulders swirl back. On your exhale, your eye gaze turns to the left if it feels good. And then how deeply can you breathe? So notice the natural inhale, it's gonna loosen you out of this. And then the exhale, as you draw the belly button to the spine, you can almost go deeper. And then what muscle could you soften? Take one more breath in the seated pose. If you wanted to extend it for the next two, you can hold on to the outside of your left foot, lift it up. And if you want to let the left arm fly, you can. Keep your low back pressing forward and heart opening. And one more deep breath, expanding the body. And then exhale, come on down. Great job. All right, so the foot stays bent. And we're going to start with that open twist. So you just take your left arm on the inside for an open twist, and then you gently look to the right. Shoulders roll back, crown of the head lifts to the back of the neck. 
And if you like the idea of that garland pose, your left palm goes up as you bend your elbow behind. And then it's a super silly position, the way that it feels. And then the right hand just lays on your back, or maybe you can hold on. Shoulders roll back, heart lifts up. We'll just be here for a couple breaths. Sometimes you just do them as medicine. They feel a little bit awkward. So take one more deep breath, thankful. You're trying something new, nourishing your body. Hands release whenever you're ready. And then they'll come back and do a cleansing position. Heel goes down, hips lift up, and just take a breath in this reverse plank. And then when you're ready, we'll come back down to sit. Yes, awesome job. All right, so let's make sure you have enough room to lay back and then your feet are in front. And reposition so you feel your sit bones. You can line up your knees with your toes and roll the shoulders back. So we're gonna do a boat pose on the way down. So if you want this core work, you're welcome to follow. If not, just lay back. So we'll start with the lowest option, hands underneath the thighs, inhale. Exhale, tuck your tail under because we're rounding the spine and then just come down to where you feel like your belly is getting enough work. And then if you want the heels a lift, toes can stay down. If you want a little more, knees stay bent, feet lift up. If you want even more legs go long and arms can either stay on the thighs or reach out. Now take three deep breaths. And as you do, I want you to focus on what feels too tight and can you breathe space even in a challenging moment like this find your capacity to breathe space and when you've done enough breaths for you you can just exhale and lay the body down reach overhead and allow your ribs to come out of neutral a little back bend and just breathe stretching the abdominals stretching the hips and then I want you to bend your knees and you can lengthen your spine if you feel like it needs a little repositioning. And keeping your knees bent, maybe even want to widen them a little wider than your hips, drop them to one side. So here your knee might not go down to the mat, the top knee, but you're just opening the hips and getting a very gentle twist for the low spine. So take a few deep breaths into your hips here. Can you relax your heart? You can even bring your arms back up if that felt better. And with each exhale, can you get a little bit heavier, softening the jaw, the face, the cheeks? And then inhale, use your belly and lift your knees back up. So that core support helps you move. And then the knees go to the other side. Again, your top knee doesn't go down to the mat usually. Just stays in the air, opening your hips. And with each out breath, try to stretch your heart, relax your face. One or two more deep breaths here, just seeing how soft and allowing your body to just be. And then when you're ready, knees will come back to the heart. And I want you to lift your head towards your knees and make a little ball. So hug nice and tight. So that's going to release the spine, open the back, and allow one leg to go long as you lift the other high. So if if it feels better, lift and keep both legs off the mat. If not, lay the lower leg down and just lift energy out your toes. If you don't like the head lifted, you can lay it back down too. Take one more deep breath, just opening this long hip on the ground and then exhale and switch. And just open up. So energy is out through the toes. Try and get your hips long on that extended lower side. And also working the abs, working the legs, nourishing the body. One more breath, and then exhale, lay your head down and rock side to side. So bring your legs back up into the air. And if you want, so we're first going to come to legs up a wall pose, and then if you want, I will cue us through if you want to practice shoulder stand or plow. So place both hands underneath your tailbone and take a nice deep breath. Let your body sink. And in this day, be fully aware. How do your feet feel? How about your ankles, your calves and shins? Notice your knees, your thighs, 
your glutes. Just want you to be aware of your body. The more in tune with you, the greater capacity you have to care, nourish, and then time strengthen. And then if your body really is asking for that shoulder stand, you are welcome to slide your legs up, hold the low back, and bring your shoulders together behind you so that your neck is long. So if your neck doesn't feel long, I want you to come back out of it. And remember, just do what your body wants. And if you really want plow, then your legs can drift overhead. Again, just making space for the neck, feeling like you're long and open and able to breathe in the pose that you picked. And then in your pose, again, scan your body. And at this moment, start to notice what feels good and what you're thankful for. Nice deep breath. One more. And as you exhale, here, plow, slide back down. With your shoulder stand, slide back down. And then we'll all gently bring our knees outside of our ribs for happy baby. Hold the inside or outside of your feet. And you could even rock if that feels good. And take deep breaths to see that you can relax down melting the jaw and shoulders back. And then take about two more breaths here, just seeing how you feel, again, coming inside your body, having your mind and your physical body connect. And then gently lay your left leg down. And we'll hug our right knee in as tight as you want and cross the knee high in the body over to the left side for a deep twist. So your knee can stay bent. If you'd rather have it long, go ahead and straighten it out. And then your right arm can be like a cactus and you can look back or you can straighten out your arm, whatever feels good. And here for your breathing, inhales let you loosen, but I want you to exhale and really hug the belly. See if you can wring the waist and ground your right shoulder. Eye gaze to the right. So here you're just nourishing your belly, your organs, helping your digestion, and just giving your body a hug from the inside out. Take about two more breaths and notice if there's anywhere that just needs a little extra love support or oxygen that you could care for. And then gently come back to center. If you want the deep hug, you can lift your head, but we'll bend our knees in the middle to straighten out the back. And then lengthen the right leg to the mat. Lay your head down, hug your left knee in as high as you want, and then cross your body with your left knee to come to that deep twist. Left arm can be bent at the elbow or just straight from the shoulder. Now with each breath, hug your belly in. And can you spread your collarbones, let them melt as your shoulders sink. And with two more breaths, again, focus on caring for your body. What needs that extra care? You have the power to change the way that your life feels. Safer, more loved, and calm, starting within. And then on this next one, come back. And one last pose. We'll inhale, reach everything up, head, toes, hands, to joyful child's pose. You can even connect to your feet and legs. And then lay the head back down. So your knees will bend first, feet to the mat. And let your knees rock in. So that's a position that has more support for your low back. Take one hand either right underneath your chest, maybe you can find your heartbeat, and then the other hand low on your belly, around your belly button or below. And start to breathe in a way that moves your lower hand so you can feel how big your lungs are. 
And when you do that, you automatically calm the body. There's a nerve right underneath your lungs. And when you allow yourself to safely breathe with as much depth as possible, you just instantly calm. It's amazing how you're moved. Your upper hand, just feel the warmth of your body. If you do feel your heartbeat, notice that as well. Just feel how both of your hands right now are noticing how caring your body is. The miracle that you are. You don't ask for breath, you don't ask for the heartbeat, and yet you're cared for. You're seen, you're loved over and over each moment of your life. So take one more breath, just staying in the present awareness of what is good, that you're loved, you're cared for, you're strong, your body is supporting you. And then if you want, feet can come together, knees open, so that your hips relax open and arms go overhead. Again, just a couple more breaths before we come to our full relaxation pose. So here as you open, I want you to feel how the ground is holding you now. So shift your focus on another part of the universe that's caring for you. Allow yourself to sink and be held safe. And notice the coolness of the air as it comes in, and then it goes warmly out. And even the air around your body is supporting your life, calling you worthy. Take another moment or two to breathe. And then when you're ready to find your most relaxing position, maybe your hands come down to help the thighs lift. And then you could either keep the knees bent together for that low back support or straighten them, bend a knee, anything that feels good. You pick what your body chooses. And to open the heart center, take a moment where your thumbs are out and just tuck your shoulders beneath just so you can lay a little bit flatter. And then when you're ready, take your first deep exhale and just let all of your body melt. Take one more just like that, seeing if you can go a little bit deeper, just allowing your body to sink. And then one of the big components to life change is our awareness. As soon as we're aware of thoughts that are spiraling, we can bring them back and repave the paths in your mind. So let's use our awareness to strengthen that skill. So first, how aware can you be of sounds? So find every sound that you can hear. As close as your own breath, as far away as maybe a car in the distance. And as soon as you're aware of the sound, can you just place it down on top of a river and let it float away? practicing awareness and letting go. And then take a deep breath. See how aware you can be of just how it feels, where it comes in and how you can sink and relax. And on the next awareness, I want you to be aware of what you sense. So what do you feel? How many textures are against your skin? Temperatures, taste, smells, lights and darks behind the eyelids. And again, you can imagine yourself just laying them down and letting them float away, either on a river or as a cloud in the sky. You're in control of what thoughts you hold on and focus on. And then take a deep breath, feeling it rise, feeling yourself fall and relax. And we'll come deeply into the body. So notice your forehead. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, just smooth it out, letting the muscles in your forehead relax. And then take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, can you soften around the cheeks, the jaw, and the eyes? Inhale, feel your head. And as you exhale, let it sink back to relax the neck. Breathe in, and as you exhale, feel the back of your shoulders sink so your heart can widen and melt. Nice deep breath in, feeling the arms and hands. 
And as you exhale, let them become heavy and yet light all at the same time. And inhale, feel your whole belly and back. And as you exhale, let your back be heavy so your belly can feel light and free. Take a nice deep breath, thinking about the glutes and hips. And as you exhale, allow them to sink back and widen. And take a nice deep breath in, feeling all the way down the legs and feet. And as you exhale, let your lower half become heavy and free. Bring your mind to your next breath. And how aware can you be of every nuance? Where the air touches you, parts of your body are moving. And just notice each part of the rise, the change, and the fall. Over and over for the next few moments, I want you to bring your mind back inside of your breath. Choosing to allow the mind to rest and showing yourself how much control you have of letting go of thoughts that aren't serving you. If thoughts, feelings, attention came back into the body. Allow them to be exhaled and come back to your breath for just a few more moments. Now stay exactly as you are. And bring into your awareness what feels good at this moment and hold it for a few seconds. Science shows that if you hold something positive for 15 seconds, you start to create a pathway there in your mind. Now scan through your body. Can you notice anything that feels different from the physical workout that you just did? And maybe it's even part of your spirit that feels more calm. And just hold that in your mind for a few more seconds. And then take one more deep breath, just feeling it and being aware of your physical life. And then so thankful for this very body. Start to move your fingers and your toes. So grateful that they move the miracle of simply thinking, and now your fingers and toes are moving. Then roll your wrists and your ankles, waking up a little closer to your center. Again, so grateful for the miracle of your own body and life. And then when you're ready, what will feel great next? Maybe you want to bend your knees in one at a time. Maybe you like to rock, you want to reach and sway. Anything that's going to help your body feel great. In time, roll to one side and we'll lay there for just a moment. So I want you to have permission to have one more moment where you feel so held. You could cradle your arm around your head. Just feel the ground and breath for one more moment. I'm so thankful for this life. Press your hand to help you sit up. And we'll finish with a nice tall spine. So find that first, take your time. And then when you're ready, we'll inhale and lift up. Feel the breath. Yes. And then exhale. And namaste. So thank you so much. You did such a great job. I am so grateful that you do this.